day 71 I woke up at 6 o'clock this morning and now it's like 20 to 7 I slept on uh, this bench so I slept on this bench because in this camping they say no tents no tents are allowed so just um, RVs uh, so that means uh, basically those and uh, but I had no alternatives I had to sleep somewhere and it was very dark I came here I've used electricity water and then I decided to to stay here on a bench on the darkness so now I leave before they notice mm, yeah I'm gonna move south to new new meadows new meadows it's uh, yet another town on the road 95 uh, eventually uh, the day after tomorrow I will be in Oregon Again from day 71, this part of Idaho is pretty much like a desert. Uh, what is wrong with today? Well, it has been over a hundred degrees, I think in Celsius. We can measure with like 38 or 40 degrees. The heat is devastating. I had a massive uphill too. Um, I'm heading for something like 3,000 feet only today of elevation gained. Uh, the humidity though is pretty low. I'm not in a humid part of the country. It's like a desert dry. What I don't like about days like this is that even though I have water with me, the water gets The water is not uh, appealing, you know, it's, it's, it's hot, it's hot water, it's, 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 it's good for coffee or tea and it doesn't give any relief to a thirsty person, so even though I have water, I have little zips of water to keep myself hydrate, hydrated, but I'm so looking forward to any, you know, cold drink gas station any coke beer gatorade whatsoever so i'm eager to get there the end of this day in uh, 10 miles and uh, find my gas station sit a little bit and have a cold drink uh what is your name sir jim shaw jim i worked at jpl nasa yeah really pasadena yeah so jim uh s-h-a-w 
yeah, Jim just got this for me, and that means that I put it on on my wrist. Yeah, put it on your wrist, and I can maybe access the. Yeah, you can access for uh, go in the rodeo and take more pictures. So I can, uh, so that I can watch the rodeo and take pictures. Yeah, and if you want to sit in the stands, you can do that too. And he did it for me. Well, thank you very much. Good job. <laughs> thank, thank you, sir. I heard the noises of a crowd, I heard the music. So I got closer, I became very curious. It was not a concert, it was a rodeo. So in this little town, Cambridge, there is, was this tournament and for the first time I saw a rodeo in my life. And um, well, I showed interest, I was trying to sneak um, over the fences when a man saw my interest and uh, he took uh, like in no time he decided that <laughs> he was going to pay my ticket ten dollars so he paid the ticket for me to enjoy the rodeo the rodeo and um, at this interest uh, in me came absolutely before he knew my name, where I'm from, what I'm doing. So it is just a not interested um, interest on me. <laughs> that means that uh, the interest on me or the way, the will to help me or to give me something was not thanks to, you know, some background that I told. I basically came there with my bicycle and I and I was looking over the fences and that was enough you know and I really enjoyed under the water tower of Cambridge it is allowed to camp and I'm alone and uh, yeah day 71 may and here we have uh, drinkable oh, sorry potable water i just checked it's forbidden to climb the tower no problem i won't do it and uh, for my joy there is electricity see how many sockets There we go. So I'm not gonna set up my tent. Uh, I am more than used nowadays to sleep over the board, over the table. It's safe enough, dry enough and warm enough. And tomorrow, tomorrow then let's see. Let's see, I'm gonna study them up uh, right now, like a few minutes. So I'm gonna think about tomorrow.